Every time when I give treatments to the patient, I always think that the patient who I am treating could be me. We all know the situation of a hospital in the times of COVID. It's either get well or die. Because everyone is afraid for their life. But in this period of my medical internship, what I'm about to learn was really life changing. You don't have to be a doctor to learn what I've learned. So yeah, welcome. Welcome to my journey that I wish to take you to the window of a day in my life. Before watching this video, I would like to ask you for your support by hitting the subscribe button and bell icon so that your support pushes me to create more content. I remember the first day I had to go to the hospital and it felt like such a daunting task. At the time, I wished I somehow reached hospital because it was far. It's not just a matter of one day, it was a matter of 12 months. I live in a town on the outskirts of the city away from the hospital. But I ended up enjoying this journey more than I've ever imagined. This journey literally restored my enthusiasm. A period of time passed when this enthusiasm left me because of stress. Sometimes it's a journey that teaches you a lot about your destination. More importantly, it allows you to dream. Before I proceed, I would like to clear some things out. Recently, I've graduated from medical school. I came back to India and then I have to pass my license exam. I passed my license exam. Right now, I'm doing my internship. For the past 11 months, I have been going to hospital this way. So this is my journey. I go from my home all the way to the hospital. And it takes almost around uh, one hour, 30 minutes to be precise. Uh, sometimes I reach before that. It depends upon the traffic as well. In the beginning, it was really tough for me. I built up my courage and then started going to hospital on my bike. I've been wanting to make this video about this my journey for a very long time and I have decided to do it because this is what I love doing. All right, enough of talking. Let's get going now. I have to go. What you are seeing is the hospital more than 100 years old. Usmania General Hospital is located across the bank of Musi River. Upon the orders of the last Nizam Mir Usman Ali Khan, this hospital was reconstructed in the year 1919. Even though the hospital poses a risk of collapsing at any moment, this did not stop from treating sick people every single day. What was once a dream is now a reality. So this is the doctor's room. Um, right now I'm going to work. I'm going to IMC. All right. I'm starting my day now. My work starts right from the moment I enter the unit. I have to check the vitals of the patient, monitor them, draw samples and give them medications. Very serious patients do come here and they are in need of oxygen sometimes and some patients they die unfortunately.
so now I'm waiting uh, to go for lunch with my friend. So this is completely another setup. I am in uh, AMC. There are patients quite a lot. Work can be hectic sometimes. After working continuously, we get a break to relieve ourselves from the clutches of the work. In fact, those little jokes in between work is just a stress buster. Say But what we forget sometimes is that every bed here is just like a park taxi with the meters running. Every patient in the bed has a story to tell. It's always someone's last moment to see the family or someone's last breath. But the main question that keeps me disturbed is if you could stand in someone else's shoes, see what they see, hear what they hear, and feel what they feel, would you still deal with them differently? Therefore, I realized all we need is a little empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. It can start with smallest of moments, a simple smile or reassurance can make a huge difference. Especially in these COVID times, we need each other. Remember, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. So, would you make a difference? I just finished my duty and I'm dying to sleep. It's 4, 7 a.m. in the morning. Coffee in the? Coffee. Okay. I'm at doctor's canteen to have some coffee. They say the most humble prayers are prayed in the hospital than any church and I think that's absolutely true because I see someone lose their loved ones every single day. So yeah, I would like to end this video now. If you like this video, do support me guys. It motivates me to create more and more content. I hope you really like this video. If you like this video, just give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified, so that you get notified whenever I post a new video.